I'm Judith Shandor, uh, the director of the Center for Ethics and Law in Biomedicine, CELAB. We are looking at uh, how to protect genetic data, uh, what genetic data means for individuals, for groups of individuals and for the society, how to protect the privacy of the individuals in this new context. Can I control my genetic data, uh, for instance? Can I control that it will not be disseminated uh, without my uh, knowledge to insurance companies, to employers, or if there is any communication uh, between research of uh, the human genetic data and, for, for instance, forensic use of the uh, genetic data. I think the field in which CELAP has started to work in 2005 is uh, such an area which is increasingly developing all over in the world. And the uh, focus is to try to see the social, ethical, legal implication of new technologies and we predominantly focus on biotechnology. Uh, this area is almost every year uh, raises some new questions. Uh, the first point was in 2003 of the completion of the Human Genome Project, which changed the um, relation between of the humans and the society, nature, artificial, how do we see ourselves as a groups of uh, people. And uh, we started to uh, thinking about of new categories of uh, so-called uh, biosocial identities, when people are also reflecting and thinking about their identities based on not exclusively on a social criteria, but also of uh, something of somatic or genetic. So in several projects in CELAB, in the, in the center, we focused on the public understanding of human uh, genetic information. Uh, I think that we had a very strong background because we conducted several projects in a so-called biobanks. There are huge collections based on populations in Iceland, U United Kingdom or in Estonia when they systematically collect genetic materials and personal and healthcare information on the humans. Of course, the hope is that uh, with these large collections of uh, biological samples, they can uh, make new types of research, they can develop individually tailors, uh, pharmaceutical products. But the fear on the side of the society that maybe this uh, data will be used for some other purposes, the purposes which they cannot control. And uh, we try to study the sensitivities of different societies and different groups. And, and that's what I consider in research very important. Even if we are, my uh, basic background is human rights. And of course, the end is to try to give some recommendation how to regulate a certain field. But I think it's very important not just to understand of uh, uh, the scientific question, what is new in a, in a biotechnology, but it's also important to us to take into account how society interprets that. I think in a way, uh, genetics is no longer uh, of a kind of destiny that has been um, seen for, for centuries like that, uh, but it's much more a kind of opportunity and we should not prevent people of uh, using these new opportunities. But how to do it, it's, it requires a, a dialogue between a scientists and a society. Scientists have very different concerns. They often see uh, therapy and uh, research, um, uh, academic work and biotechnological patterns in continuum and for the society and for the research participants, are, these are not the same. But I think that what is a tendency, and we have seen in the research, that uh, the individual groups would like to participate more actively in uh, such research. And this is more a partnership than the previous model when the researcher made some examination on a human subject.